two women are about to go on a dangerous crash diet. They've got five weeks to drop five dress sizes. One will take her body to its absolute limit. I can almost put my fingers round my waist now. The other will take her mind close to the edge. If you continued to diet in the way that you are dieting, you probably would become fully bulimic. It's estimated that British women who diet spend on average 31 years of their lives trying to lose weight. Weight loss has become a female obsession. Everyone wants to be half a stone lighter. I think we all feel pressure to be thin. I just think it's got out of control. But dieting is going to new extremes. I think that there's a lot of people out there doing a lot of crazy things in order to try and attain this shape. Boot camps, farming up after every meal. Colonics, enemas. Asthma pills for horses. This is absolutely insane. It's, it's ridiculous. According to a recent survey, the size zero look hallowed by Hollywood is deemed attractive by six out of ten young British women. Even I look at Nicole Richie because um, that horrible spindly body is fabulously styled. Somewhere inside us, we're impressed. But what's the reality behind the size zero headlines? We asked two journalists to crash diet from a size 12 to a size double zero, a UK size two, in just five weeks. They ended up going on a disturbing and dangerous journey. Kate Spicer is 37 and single. A freelance features journalist, she's written extensively on dieting and body image. I've always really enjoyed immersing myself in journalism, doing what I stupidly call method journalism, where you get involved in the story, and the best way to understand something is to become it. <clears throat> I don't know how urgent it is. Probably I would imagine very if it's Friday. Obviously, I have my own issues with my body. I'm 37 years old. It's not going to be perfect. I've also just been fascinated by this kind of car crash girls who live very strange lives in order to be able to fit into fashion sample sizes. And I've always wondered what it entails to be like that. I like the one where they're sitting down. Our second journalist is 28-year-old Louise Burke, who lives with her boyfriend, Ben. Working for the Sunday Mirror's Celebs on Sunday magazine, she writes about Hollywood's latest dietary fads on a weekly basis. But unusually, Louise has never been on a diet herself. The last thing I want to do is show people how to lose the weight. The aim of the experiment is to show and highlight that all the horrible, nasty side effects that extreme dieting does. I've never worried about my weight, really. I am fortunate. I am slim. My mum would serve me the same portion sizes as my three older brothers, but I think we've all sort of got one little bump or lump that we'd rather not have. <laughs> At five foot five and nine stone three pounds, Louise is a healthy size 12. Her body mass index is absolutely normal at 21.3. Kate is five foot seven and a half and weighs 10 stone four pounds. She's also a size 12 and has a healthy body mass index of 22.6. The experiment is risky. Both have undergone rigorous physical and mental tests overseen by doctors at Imperial College London who are supporting the project. The experiment is led by eating expert Dr. Carol LaRue. This experiment is very interesting because we'll take normal, healthy people and we'll actually force them to lose significant amounts of weight. And what we would be interested in observing is how hard they find it to lose the weight. The major physical danger of significant weight loss is sudden cardiac death. The major psychological abnormality that may happen is severe depression and potentially combined with an eating disorder. Those are the major complications that we would like to avoid. Before going on our crash diet, Kate looks for inspiration. I think the first way I'm going to stoke myself up to shrink will be to look at some of the more disgusting photographs in my collection. Yeah, you see, there, just my legs just look really big, you know. There now, there's another horrible picture. Plenty of chin going on there. 
Oh, you see, there's this relaxing feeling when you start looking at a set of pictures, you're like, oh, I was really thin at this stage. And you always sort of dive in, pleased to see thin Kate and not fat Kate, you know? This, these are the ones you put on the wall, and that's the one you tear up into tiny bits and then go and stick your fingers down your throat and throw up, if I was that sort of person, obviously. I've got a load of magazines from um, The Office, and I was going to see what celebrities apparently do to lose weight. Well, Elizabeth Hurley claims to go through hell to look this good. Apparently, Nicole Rich is back on a burger diet. Apparently, if you swim in cold water, it speeds up your metabolism, um, which sounds a bit ludicrous to me, but I think I might try that one out. It's a December morning, and the temperature is minus two. Got quite a few layers on, because it's so bloody cold. I think it's going to be a massive shock to the system when I first put my toe in. Oh, it is icy. In theory, Louise's metabolism should speed up to keep her warm, Whoa. and the calories should start to burn off. Oh my god, it's really cold. Oh, 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 I feel like I'm losing my It is so cold. I think your metabolism might have speeded up. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I think everything speeded up. It was horrible. <laughs> Never again. <laughs> but for Louise, things are about to get a lot worse. I think I vomited about three times. And Kate's about to go native. I've had three colonics and I'm going to have another one tomorrow. In an experiment to get to size double zero, Journalist Kate Spicer is on her first day of a crash diet and she's decided to cut out solid food altogether. It's perfectly nice, but I couldn't do a whole one. She's on the Master Cleanse, also known as the Lemonade Diet. Effectively, it's a fast. Kate is allowed three litres of homemade lemonade a day, containing lemons, maple syrup and cayenne pepper. That's a mere 250 calories, 90% less than her more calorie intake. To make things that bit harder, Kate's also running for an hour a day. I'm quite hungry. When you have something to drink, you feel good for 20 minutes and then you go back to feeling pretty tired. I'm sitting in the bath now because if I lie on the sofa or anything like that, I'm going to start thinking about eating. Shall I put the kettle on? Hoping to distract um, herself, she visits friend yet. Elaine. I just have water. I bought all these lovely cakes, look. Cakes? Look, 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 look. Oh my God, I'm so hungry. I don't know if I can do it, you know. We're at three days in? No, 36 hours. Oh, right, oh yeah. <laughs> I've got some really nice foie gras in the fridge. Foie gras? <laughs> food, food. But that's what they do, isn't it? Like, They'll chew food and then spit it out before they've taken any solids down. They'll get the flavour out and then spit it out. And they're six. Oh, really? Is that what they do? Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> oh, it's like half my personality's gone. It's only half a life without food. Kate, meanwhile, has to stick Oof. to liquids. Nice. Mm. That's lunch done. <laughs> It's a normal working day for Louise, but she's got up an hour earlier to begin her new super skinny regime. It's stupid o'clock. I never get up this early. It's about um, seven o'clock. I'm up because I've got to go to a personal trainer this morning to work out in primary fields where lots of other people work out, but I never work out. Good to meet you. She's drafted in personal trainer Chengis Dervis. He regularly works with supermodels and actresses.